And we are into round five. At least we should be. If card fight zero decides to work. In your own time game. Well, that is uh, just wonderful. Hmm. Hmm. Right, okay, let's do this. May as well just record all of this and show you exactly what happened and why the players will be on grade 2 when we start. Ah, yes, hello, Ray. <laughs> How are you today? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to get the room code again. So here's the turban brackets. Here is the group chat. Oh my goodness. Copy. Yes, this is the group chat that we use. As you can see, very professional. And view. <laughs> no room was found. Liar. Okay, view. There it is, the exact same code that we just typed in twice. We are hoping that Carfit Zero will fix these problems eventually. Someday. Okay, so um, it is Soul versus Messiah. Um, Shadow Paladins versus Magilor Blaster again. So let's watch the Magilor Blaster side. We'll watch Soul. And he'll be against the Messiah who is playing the Phantom Blast Dragon. So let's see how far they are in. They're on grade twos, exactly as I said. Wonderful. Okay, so let's see what we can learn from the field. Um, so... The Blaster Blade is on 10k, which means that the, ra the grade one ride was the Blaster Traveling. And he's now going into the Phantom Blaster... The Phantom Blast Dragon, which is good. So we went Blaster Dragon, Blaster, Blaster Blade, and then into the Fire and Blaster Dragon. Uh, on the other side, it looks like Soul is set up. He's got the Magilor Blaster, he's got two Blaster Darks and two Blaster Blades, so we can actually use that Magilor Blaster twice if he needs to. Um, I see that uh, Soul doesn't have any damage, so presumably... Presumably, um, the Messiah didn't give him any damage previous turn to stop him from using that effect. And because the Blaster Javelin was called to back row, I assume he swapped a grade 3 to get the Phantom Blaster Dragon from his deck to his hand. So I think that's everything that's happened thus far, using my deductive reasoning. Right now into the Master Lord Blaster. Well, hmm. Yep, now he has to take away one of those Blaster Blade Combs. Hmm. Trying to end this one quickly. Strong tactic. Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, trigger. And a heal trigger at that. Which means the other column won't hit. So, we're just going to have to tie with the Magic Lord Blaster now. I'd have attacked the Blaster Blade first so that the Blaster Dark could still have been there. Then, any triggers that you get, you can still put on the Blaster Dark. Come 
And then 9 plus 12 would be 21, which would have attacked over the Phantom Blaster Overlord, or the Phantom Blaster Dragon even, to put in that extra 1 damage. And we'll see if that's a mistake later on. We'll see if that was a misplay or not. Well, it, we'll see if the misplay affects him later on or not. So he's called a Phantom Blaster Overlord, so presumably that means he has another Phantom Blaster Overlord in hand. Yeah, there we go. That's because he, he really needs to be getting into those draw triggers at that point. Because he's down to only 3 cards remaining, whereas Soul has 5 and he's going to draw in his next turn. That was a 6. When he draws, he's going to have 7 additional cards. He's going to have 5 in hand and 2 in field. Not including the Vanguard, obviously. And he's got two perfect guards as well. He's in a very strong position now. Especially with these Palamedes, which are 13k by themselves. Which he doesn't even need, because he's got the 7k boosters. Although the Magic Lord Blaster will have to rely on a trigger to hit. So, will he go with the Magic Lord Blaster first? No, he's not. And now the Magic Lord Blaster can't hit at all. So he has attacked with the Magic Lord Blaster and give it any triggers to the Palamedes. It doesn't hit. And the Palamedes can't hit either because it's only a 20k column. This has always been one for using the little quotes. So we know he's been through three Phantom Master Overlords so far. The question is, does he have the fourth in hand? Hmm. Very dangerous for Messiah. With that grade one, if that last card in the hand isn't a grade one in perfect guard. That was the correct choice. Now we can have the 9k rear guard attack the blaster blade. Well, I don't have the, the fourth overlord. Now, yep, 17k. It's a nice move. So, the Palamedes is going to be called here, and the 7k is going to be called here to make that into 19k call. Or not. Interesting. Because the 13k has to attack this 9k rearguard anyway. Or the 20, sorry, not 19. So, me, Magic Lord Blaster, is relying on a trigger, and if he doesn't hit a trigger, then this isn't going to hit. And that's what we're going to put Messiah on 5 damage rather than the potential winning that game. Hmm. Although Soul has decided to just try and clear his board rather than give him that 5th damage, giving him an additional carrot blast. So he does have one perfect guard in hand, but he has on 5 damage, so... Ooh! Does that mean is that Messiah has two perfect guards in hand? And he drew that trigger, which means both of these are going to hit. So now Soul is going to have to rely a heal trigger here. And he gets it! Oh my goodness. So there's triggers left. He has two heals and two draws left in his deck. Messiah has two heals and one draw left in the deck. So will Soul get rid of a Palamedes for that? Great to. No, he's chosen not to. 
So you gotta wonder why Messiah decided to keep two cards in hand. The only explanation I've got is that it's a perfect god. So you wanna give that to the vanguard and hope for a second trigger? No, there wasn't a second trigger. This is why the 7k really needed to be called here behind the Magic Lord Blaster. Yeah, he had at least one perfect guard in hand. And we know he's got one heal trigger in hand, so there's only one heal trigger left in his deck. And he doesn't have any grade 2 intercepts, so. Will we see Messiah go for him? He discarded the perfect guard. That's a very dangerous position. No, that's, I think, his last perfect guard. That makes an 11k column, which isn't enough to hit the Martial Lord Blaster. Oh, he's using the effect to give it in the, the field, the front row plus five. So is it going to pay off for him? He only has one heal trigger left in deck. He didn't get it. That means Messiah is going into the final. This is like some sort of anime. <laughs> Messiah like crawling his way back up from the, the loss in the first round. Um, all the way back into the finals. Very, very cool.